this is something that I've been wanting to watch. This is a lore video. Uh, says Meteon did nothing wrong. Um, I'm gonna be honest, this is something that I'm a little bit biased towards because uh, Meteon, even though she's kind of like a... Should we call her a tragic character or not? Like, she's not tragic. But at the same time, she was... Um, she... In the position of power she was in, and she did have power, I think her her emotions and and just her overall existence wasn't handled properly because because I don't know, I think I think Hermes just underappreciated his role as a guardian in uh, in a way, and I just kind of wanted to uh, to take a look at the video and see what what they have to say about this. I still feel anxious when I see Meteon, and this is just me not knowing how to forgive as easily as I'd like to, uh, because she, you know, she did make me feel a lot of stress, <laughs> and you know, like it's it's just hard for me to move on uh, from that. Like I think Hermes was the one who mishandled Meteon in the first place, uh, but also. I don't know, like, I'm just not able to move on from it a little bit and just have a clean slate with Meteon. Every time I see her, I'm just like, oh, you know, you almost killed all my friends. It's just, uh, it's, it's just sucks, you know? <laughs> she is kind of ruined for me, but let's watch the video. <laughs> It loomed over countless stars for years, threatening to end existence for all living things. That crisis is no more, thanks to the Warrior of Light, the Scions, and so many others. I've seen a lot of people blaming one character in particular for the final days. The ones. I just don't like. I, I received one of uh, one of uh, co one of the comments on my one of my videos, and someone said that um, like anyone who uh, still hates Meteon after the ending of the game hasn't been paying attention. I don't think it's not paying attention. I think it's just like when someone has like a really big mess up, you know they were wrong. You kind of want to forgive them, but it's still too fresh, and sometimes. An hour or two hours of going through the MSQ is not enough for you to let go of these feelings of rage <laughs> that you feel towards them. <laughs> like Closely connected to that catastrophe. I'm talking about Medion. This may seem like a controversial stance, but Medion is not responsible for nearly wiping out all life in no, the universe. No, I don't universe. think she was. Let me explain why, and point the finger at the person who's really to blame for the final days. But before I do that, another massive spoiler warning as we'll be exploring a lot of N. Walker's story in this video. Enjoy. Obvious. Hermes was just a bad daddy. Medion is one of the most unique creatures the player encounters in Final Fantasy XIV. We don't meet her until just beyond the halfway point of N. Walker's story. Now, she was created by Hermes, an ancient residing in Elpis on the planet Atheris. That's where the Warrior of Light lives, just many, many years in the future. Now, Medion represents the potential from the emotion-derived energy called Dynamis. This opposes ether, which is what most life forms are composed of. The Medion we encounter is just one of many sisters, or media, that share one- He's a bad, toxic daddy, and he's to blame. <laughs> in consciousness. The main Medion stays with Hermes and serves as their representative, while the others travel the universe to discover other stars with life. Hermes created them to answer one question. What is their reason for living? Keep in mind that Medion is a relatively new creation. Hermes tells us this himself. She's immature, despite her great potential. Almost everything she knows, at this point in the story, is from Hermes. And we're shown early on that the Ancient has his own demons. That means her caretaker is mentally fragile. Plus, she's a powerful empath, adopting the emotions of those around them. I say all of that to remind you that Medion is very young and very impressionable. Nearly her entire world- She's like a toddler who's been given too much power and responsibility. Like, you wouldn't hand all this power to a toddler and be like, Hey, if you get mad, you can, uh, you can destroy the world and we'll be okay with that. Like, no one would ever do that. <laughs> 
worldview is going to be shaped by the close circle of people around her. That's almost exclusively Hermes until the Warrior of Light, Emmet Selk, and Hithlidaeus show up. Medion's perspective is forcibly changed when she connects with the other media in the universe. They only found dead worlds, or ones on the verge of collapse. This is what happens when, uh, when a child, a very young child, discovers death. And I think I talked about this before in my, uh, while, while I was doing my MSQ. Like, I remember how stressful this was for me. Like, when I was a kid, I think I was, I think I was so young. I was like four or five and someone in my family, like not closer family, but someone I knew died. And I was like, what's death? You know, and then I got it explained. And then I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna die. You know, like in my five-year-old mind, life made no sense anymore because I knew it was over. It was all over. I was gonna die. Life made no sense. I didn't understand why my parents had me at all when I was gonna die. It's like, why would you ever put me through this misery if, uh, if my life is just gonna end? And it took me like months of going through coloring books to, <laughs> to get over this trauma of finding out what death really is and i can't not relate with with meteon becoming aware of this on a much much larger scale you know the entire world is just being gone all that pain suffering despair these negative That's feelings impacted the media's <laughs> collective consciousness and Medion became horrified when she received this information, causing her individual mind to be suppressed. We see this when Medion tries to fight it and urges the warrior to protect her friends. Her will, however, is not strong enough, and ultimately she succumbs to the will of her sisters. They all see life in the universe as suffering. Ending it all would be the greatest mercy she could bestow. Medion leaves Atheris to join her sisters at the edge of the universe and to bring about the Song of Oblivion. It's an event that uses Dynamis combined with Despair to cause a chain reaction. Extinction would follow. Now, let's fast forward a bit. We know this event was staved off by the Convocation of 14 summoning of the Dark Primal Zodiac. Eventually, Hydaelyn imprisoned Zodiac on the moon, keeping the dangerous primal at bay, but edits. also keeping Atheris safe. Xenos and Fandaniel break that seal in the present day. Zodiac is weakened by the warrior, Fandaniel destroys the primal's heart, and the Song of Oblivion returns. The Scions chase Medion to the edge of the universe, with the warrior arriving at the Median Nest. Medion keeps insisting that life isn't worth living and wants to relieve the warrior of his burden. But we're not about to back down. Emmet Selk and Hithlidae summon an Elpis flower field to the nest, something Medion shares a deep connection with. It reminds her of her friends, especially Hermes, and restores her individuality. The Medion we met is free. We know this because she begs the warrior to stop the Song of Oblivion. She knows life is about celebrating the good and pushing through the bad. Medion sees that in you, the warrior's will, optimism, and resolve. She's determined to help stop- Wow, oh, just watching these cutscenes again just makes me want to replay the, the Emma Walker story. <laughs> her sisters and guides the warrior to them as they converge into one being, the End Singer. The End Singer attacks, so the warrior sends the Scions away to safety. That's because the warrior is willing to face the End Singer alone. But Xenos isn't going to be sidelined anymore. The combined efforts of so many people destroy the End Singer and end the Song of Oblivion forever. Medion survives. Although she broke free of the despair that swallowed up her sisters, she still mourned on everything that's happened. Like in my eyes, <laughs> Medion here is still a toddler, but a toddler who messed up like real bad. A toddler who, I don't know, who accidentally turned the stove on and almost set the whole house on fire. You don't just go and, and act like everything's fine. Like she would be grounded into oblivion. <laughs> That includes the answers to Hermes question, what makes life worth living? The warrior invites Medion to connect one more time, sharing their feelings of love, friendship, and happiness, even in the darkest moments. 
Medion realizes in spite of Hermes' mission, the answer to his question was on Atheris all along. She's got hope for the future now, and leaves to explore the world she longed to understand. With all of this in perspective, Medion is more of a victim than a villain. Her impressionable mind was heavily influenced. She's just a victim of her immaturity and the responsibility that she's been tasked with. That, that, that's all she is. She's not a villain, but she's, she's also not innocent. But the reason she's not innocent is not, is not her fault by the despair that her sisters witnessed. All of that was just too much for them to handle, let alone just one. That impossible mission is what put Medion on the path to the final days. And there's really only one person we can blame for that, Hermes. This man yeah. chooses one of the worst ways to cope with his depression by projecting nearly all of his negativity onto Medion. And remember her empathic abilities? She was doomed from the very beginning. He's like a parent who never pays attention to what he says in front of the child. Talking about all the struggles and problems and everything. It's like coming home from work and not realizing you're in front of a kid, but instead just like spilling all your negative energy onto a child who doesn't necessarily understand what your problems are all about, but they can feel that negative energy. Like he had no filter whatsoever when it comes to talking to Medion about all of these overwhelming things. And he thought that she could handle it a lot better, but how can you even expect that? mention a flawed mission that she simply wasn't prepared to handle and what does hermes do when he has one final chance to correct course reach out to his creation with love and sympathy if only that were true no he outright encourages her descent into madness and tries to stop the only people who could prevent the catastrophe from happening hermes is a deeply flawed man one of the most flawed in the entire final fantasy 14 story and for that he shoulders the burden for medion no doubt in my mind so what do you think? Is Medion a victim of circumstance or did she make the mistakes leading up to the final days? I feel like this is going to be a controversial take. On oh no, her, her actions were mistakes, but they weren't purposeful mistakes. They weren't mistakes that you can go and blame her for. She does and would need to go through the process of understanding what she's done and, you know, facing the consequences, not as a punishment, but like just coming to terms that with the fact that some of the things uh, that she's done are wrong and just kind of accepting that she is powerful and committing to herself, not really, um, not really doing these things ever again and understanding that her power can do this but like making a conscious choice to just kind of you know try to grow up a little bit and and be better I don't on know. this issue and i'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below i'd also appreciate a like if you enjoyed this video and i'm always taking suggestions for future entries until the next one take care warriors and i'll see you soon it was a good video. It was insightful, and uh, I I don't disagree with this. I uh, I don't have a clean slate with Medion, but that's just my personal emotions getting in the way, and I just need to um, I I just need to work a little bit harder on uh, you know, on accepting the fact that this is all over now, and that you know she is in fact, well I know that she's not our enemy. It's just I'm just having a hard time seeing her the same way and I guess a lot of other people feel the same way as well like you can't I don't know like so, sometimes sometimes it's, it's just hard to 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 get over um, to get over these